Hello, I'm Aoife Kerwin, the Information Advocacy and Research Officer with MS Ireland. Our entry is titled MS and Wellness Microsite, and I would like to start by introducing you to my collaborators on this project. Firstly, my colleague Tom. Hi, I'm Tom McCarthy, I'm the Marketing and Communications Manager at MS Ireland. And hi, I'm Ruth McKeever, so I'm Patient Advocacy and Communications Lead at Novartis in Ireland, and we're delighted to collaborate um, and sponsor the project with MS Ireland. The pandemic was tough on everyone, but for people living with MS, they face additional challenges and anxieties during this time. It is proven that through relaxation techniques and anxiety management, that these can greatly benefit the brain health of those living with MS. We worked with Novartis Ireland to develop a series of videos to help people living with MS address these issues, and these were then hosted on the MS Ireland website. People living with MS responded with great enthusiasm and tremendous feedback. It really was a brilliant resource for the MS community in Ireland and beyond. As Tom said, during COVID, people living with MS felt a great deal of uncertainty and we knew from the calls coming into the information line that there was a great deal of anxiety amongst the community. People were unsure of their individual risk regarding the virus and we received a large volume of COVID related calls. Our strategy was to help people with MS cope with the additional stress and anxiety of COVID by delivering a series of video tutorials with a clinical psychologist and neuropsychiatrist and of course, improving brain health. The delivery method of video hosted on the MS Ireland website was chosen for a number of reasons. During lockdown, everyone was at home, particularly people with MS were very careful and the videos were chosen over webinars so that people could dip in and out and go at their own pace. At that time in Novartis, uh, one of my colleagues was a neuropsychiatrist and she was able to put us in touch with Professor Cesar Ricardo Yeiro Briseno who recorded a series of training videos specifically for Irish people with MS to offer them coping techniques for this time of increased stress and anxiety. The first two videos covered relaxation, one on breathing techniques and one on imagery. These tutorials were in-depth and so were quite long, but people could dip in and out as they needed. The second set of videos covered mental health acknowledging that anxiety disorders are three times more common in MS than in the general population, even before COVID. The videos explained what anxiety is, how thoughts influence the anxiety response, how to restructure your thoughts, and a series of videos on a happiness model. As Ruth mentioned, this Brain Health Initiative was live on the MS Ireland website from May 2020. People living with MS were really pleased to have a resource developed that specifically addressed their needs. We promoted the website through articles in national press and, the, and magazines, as well as medical papers, and shared them on our very own social media. In total, we had over 3,000 visitors to the website. To put that in some context, that's one in three people in Ireland living with MS. The microsite is still live on the MS Ireland website, so people living with MS can continue to access the video tutorials, and we are very pleased with the feedback received. You can still visit the website by visiting www ms-society forward slash ms-wellness.